Good afternoon. Welcome back to Wendy Hill Kennel. So we're downstairs in the basement today and we've got Nikki's two little kids. So uh, the blue Merle is sold. The black one is still available. So we're going to start with the black one since it's the one that's available. They're going, oh no, don't separate me. So this little guy is so fat. But you figure Nikki has eight nipples and there's only two puppies. Now let's see. You could have all you wanted to eat all the time. <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt what they're doing. Uh, she hardly ever leaves them. She lays with them all the time. He is just fat as a little, he's like a little brick. He's as almost as thick as he is long and he's just a chunk. Um, so this little stinker is 82.99 is his microchip number. And he is jet black as of right now. Eyes are totally open as you can see. He says, don't make me look. There we go. Nope, I'm going to make you look. And they've got really nice soft coats. And they have, he has a little, I know, but you're going to hate me. But i got to show him your white spot. He has a white spot on his chest. Take my word for it. I won't stress him out to make him show you. Uh, coats are getting really nice. They're getting really thick. They're starting to get some waves to them. He says, I don't know if I like this. I am not happy. No, he's got pretty face. I love his expression. The expression right now is not a happy one. He says, I don't, don't like this. All right, let's get this zeroed out and we'll see what he weighs. All right, this little guy is one pound, seven ounces. All right. I'm going to set him down here. And I never looked, but these guys, let's see, today, tomorrow's the 10th. They're going to be three weeks old on the 10th. So, wait a minute, today's the 10th. Today's the 11th. I don't know what day it is. It's the 10th? Vanessa goes, it's the 10th. So, today is three weeks old. I was thinking it was only the... Yeah, yeah. Yesterday, I know, it was the 9th now, since I'm thinking about it. So, anyway, he's great. Fat, not missing any meals. And you're just about as bad. This is the little Merle. And this one is sold. So, and this is a male also. Both of these are boys. He's got beautiful coat. And I love his expression. They have such cute, no, no, don't panic. It's okay, I got your feet. You're not gonna fall. Sit on the table. Nope, he says, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. All right, let me just set your feet down. Let's just set you down. Then I'll hold your head up. Can I do that? Nope, can't do that either. Well, I'm gonna hold you and I'm not gonna let you fall. There you go. Now you're not panicking anymore. But he's got such a cute face. He's got really nice coat. His coat's starting to have some flips and waves in it. And they both have really nice soft coats. Could give you microchip number. 8300 is his microchip number. I know it. Turn your feet back here the right way, little guy. Let me see what you weigh. This one is, drum roll, one pound, 5.2 ounces. So. They're, do, they're both doing great. It's not a really long video. It'll be, it'll be fun when they're cuter and they're a little bit older and they do something. But right now, eat, sleep, and poop is about it. Uh, I have not dumped them out of the welt box yet. We're going to do that probably tomorrow. Um, they're not walking around a lot because she babies them so much. So my fear is when I dump them out on the floor, we moved them down to the kennel today. So they're in the building and they've got heat and they've got a four foot cubicle. But I'm afraid once I dump them out, they're not gonna be able to find their way back to their carpet. So they're not, they're fat enough, they're having trouble getting their legs clear under them to walk. And I don't want them to get lost in that cubicle. So we might leave them in that cubicle another couple days before I dump them out. So they're all doing phenomenally well, all two of them. Um, I'll be anxious to get them on the floor, let them start becoming little people, and they'll start eating also as soon as we put them on the floor. We'll start them on cottage cheese, and once they start walking, they'll also slim down a little bit. But right now, they're just nursing away and just loving the day because mom lays with them all day long. So I know it's not a very long video, but I can't get them to do a song and a dance, and they're going to just lay here and go back to sleep. So next week they will get their Neopar booster, which is just a one-time booster shot for Parvo, and then they'll start, it has nothing to do with their puppy shots. So then they'll start on their puppy shots at six weeks old. So 
I hope you've enjoyed your video. I know it's not very long. I hope you guys have a great week, what's left of it, and have a really good weekend. And we'll get you some more video next week, and hopefully they'll be up and moving. So it's uh, that's about all we got for today. So have a good one, and call me if you have any questions or if you're interested in any information on the little black male, and we'll talk to you later.